look what we're doing now. <laughs> so we've decided to use our landy, yay, as our bedroom for the next couple of years. Or the idea is we hope we hope to go traveling for for quite some time at least. So we are making changes again. Being adaptable is essential, right? <laughs> we all know this. So I'm myself very. Uh, after ages and ages and ages and ages of research, you know, caravans, um, pop-up caravans, folding caravans, all kinds of trailers. Um, we've come up with this solution. We're going to customize our own trailer, which we thought would be quite cool. So Marcel bought this little beauty uh, yesterday. And uh, now we've got all of the camping gear, what we need, and we're trying to figure out how to build the little box. The carpenter's notes. Mm-hmm. This might look like a gypsy caravan. Who knows, maybe it is. What we've got here is our trailer. And basically everything we need to take with us on our little road trip adventure. So we're trying to figure out how to do it the best way, use the amount of space the best way possible, and keep it as compact as you can. Because you can get a huge trailer or a huge caravan, camper van, the size of buses. Let's make it compact to see if that works. We've got our stuff here and what I'm busy doing at the moment is using my complicated measuring device and a bit of this. Just trying to figure out how to get our tables and chairs in. We've got four of these metal boxes with our stuff in it. A couple of gas bottles. The mattress that goes in the car when we're sleeping. It's nice to have it in here as well. Opens up space there. On the other side of the van, we're going to have... beer fridge and for food <laughs> the beer fridge <laughs> and this whole section here will be a kitchen area Yay. which is actually very important for management uh -huh. so it'll be um, cooker washing all of that stuff prep so we're trying to figure out how to do this in the most elegant way and also keep the weight down keep everything uh, as compact and easy of use is the point as you pull up to a campsite you can just Open it up and crack a beer and you're done. Okay. So here we have some water bottles. We'll have a little water heater, camp water heater, so we can have a shower if needed. Gas for cooking. So we made the initial moves now. We know exactly what goes where. Now I need to work it all out, get our panels of wood, and then start sawing, drilling, gluing, painting. Hi guys, welcome to my workshop in the backyard, literally in the backyard. It's raining today, so I've put up a makeshift tarpaulin so we can work a little bit dry. And as you saw in the previous piece, the planning stage has now developed into the building stage. And what I've done is bought a lot of plyboard. Um, basically, it's a choice of your own. I think this stuff is very strong. It cuts very nicely and it has a nice edge like on a chipboard this edge is good enough you paint that and it's nice and lean finished on chipboard you have to finish that edge off it breaks off and all of that so what i've done is bought a lot of this stuff 10 mil 15 mil 18 mil 18 mil for the outside 10 mil for the floor 15 for the first level and what i've done now i've started is put the floor in finally on the edge. The foam is from the bus, right? Oh yeah, the foam. That's a bit of insulation. This is quite thick stuff. Yeah. It's about 30, 32 mil. And yeah, we just had it lying around, so why not? So that's underneath here. Everything is insulated. And now it's back to the measuring stage and also using these aluminium yeah. channels. So the inner, yeah, these are for what? I've pop riveted that on there. Okay. And I've drilled out where the pop rivets are so that the wood sits flush on the aluminium channel. And what this will serve as is the base that will come in there. All right. And what we need to do is raise this a little bit because the kist, we've got four of these boys as you saw, but it'll just manage to slide under there. Oh, very cool. So that's brilliant. So exciting. 
Well done, dude. So this is stage one as we go, and it's basically measure and fit and measure and fit. So what I'm doing today is the space for the four, um, what are they called, steel oh, cases. Good. That'll go in here. There'll be a cross piece here for the gas bottles there. Oh, so yeah, exciting. Making, making a start, man. And then this will be able to slide out uh, even if the tailgate's on. That's the thing, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Oh, so exciting. So glad you're handy. What a yeah, handy we made a start. So, <laughs> what we would cool. do now, silicon. Yes. The one thing you want to do is keep it dry inside. Yeah, absolutely. Zero margin. Yes. Wow, so this is, oh dude, you've done so well. So our little gas bottles will go in here, the two, and then over here we'll have some water, and our other heater here. Oh, this is so exciting. Dude, you rock. Hooter man. Get in there. Hooter man. Hooter man. <laughs> in the backyard with some simple tools. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, wow, look at this. You've been a busy, busy, busy chap. The roof's on, man. We're done. <laughs> that looks waterproof. So, so yeah, the bare bones are there now. Now we have a better idea of what it looks like. It's not too big. Big square box. You think? It's about one. 75, which is cool. And the idea is that the bottom have two halves, one opening up and one opening out. And that's going to be the kitchen counter. And it's going to be the counter. That's really cool. That's really cool. There's gas in here, fridge, stove, oven. All this stuff on top. At the back there will be space for some more um, storage. Yeah. And the top here will have a mattress. So cool. And uh, there's going to be a divider in between or not? That was the plan, yes. Yeah, cool. That'll also help with the sturdy. Yes, that'll help with the sturdy. <laughs> Sturdiness the technical, sturdy. Technical. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is so exciting. That is super cool. So, and the, the, the shelving stuff, uh, how's that working? Shelving. In the back? Let's see some little orange uh, cables. Drawer. Drawers. So how this works. Oh, wow, look at that. This is so cool. Pull one out. Yes. And the other one's quite far in there. Oh, I love it. Boom. Love it, love it, love it. Well done. And they slide quite well, actually. So you just put in two little uh, uh, cable runners at the bottom. Oh, uh, what are those called? Pinches. They, they look like pins. Yeah, they're just uh, strips of wood, really. Just to raise it up a bit to okay. get our... They're working. But the ropes at the top? No, the roots oh. are around the back. Oh, right. Okay. So it's just not on this side. Hmm? Cool. Fantastic. Sorted. Well done. So yeah, it's time to 
clean up because it's getting dark now. Yeah. And cold. Ch -ch 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 oh, cool. this is so exciting. So there you can see there's going to be for the other two. And there's going to be a little wall here so our tables will stand up. Oh, so exciting. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, so if we make that uh, 35 or 40, uh, okay, I think uh, for this 40, can I, yeah, I can just can reach, and if we do it at uh, 35, yeah, 35 is better. You can maybe even 30. No, <laughs> it's nice having space. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so exciting. Wow. That work. How cool is that? That is so cool. That works really well. Fantastic. Oh, and you've got this trap from here. That's quite clever. I know that's just to hold it up. Yeah. That's so clever. We just don't have much space. Yeah? Just put a real big chain and yeah. flapping around. That's oh. ideal. How's it going? Get in there. Yeah? Do you need more wood? So we've got the fridge here. Yeah? So let's build this out. But that much. Right. <laughs> yeah. So close it in, put a board in there, and the mattress will come in from the other side. Morning guys, welcome to my office once again. Day three of the build-ish. Getting there, making a lot of progress, doing all the little niggly things, framing the surrounds. This little bad boy was needed because the mattress that we're gonna put in there is a little bit wider than half of the trailer. So it was either not have a fridge, <laughs> or not have a mattress, or have both. Yeah. So now it's a bit of a detente. You can check the other side. It's not finished yet. Oh, cool. But eventually, oh, that'll work. this will be closed up here. Yeah. And the mattress will go inside here. Perfect. Close the flap. Boom. Done. So in the flaps, uh, uh, what are you doing today? Today I want to put the strengthening on both sides. Plane the two flaps that are going to open this way. Okay. So one will come down here like yeah. a serving tray and the other one will come up here. I'm going to try and fit them, see if I can get it all fitted. If that works out, that's a lot of work. And then finish these things, finish this, oh, close so it all cool. up. So will this come down here or just, just for here? Eh? Do we leave this as open as possible or uh, what you're thinking? I thought we'd leave it just here. Yeah, perfect. Then have another look, another yeah. meeting, another reconvene, meeting. <laughs> and check our progress. So let's get in there. Very getting cool. finicky, fiddly, but it's and all then, good. And uh, then this is the spaces for the tables and the chairs, so they can stand up, right? Yeah. I mean, perfect, isn't it? We can do anything we want here, that's the point. Yeah. We have a lot of extra storage underneath uh, in those boxes yeah. that you've seen. I mean, half of the one box contains all our cooking equipment. So that's all going to go in there. Well, we hope. On the other <laughs> side. <laughs> So we'll try and get all of the cooking stuff in here and yeah. that'll open up a whole nother box. So, I mean, you've got more than enough space. The two gas bottles. Oh, there, there was a flap here the last time. Um, have you taken that off or is it going to come back on? Yeah. I need to plane it. Yeah. See, it's but like, I mean, it's going to come back on. Yes. yes. This is going to come yeah. here. Right. After I've For, for, for added it. strength. 
Okay, after right. I've planed it straight. Okay. And that's going to keep the top nice and level. Excellent. And in front here we have our gas bottles. There'll be two gas bottles. Mm -hmm. And by luck or by design, <laughs> I'll take credit for it. <laughs> They're very tight yeah. in here. Perfect. So two of them boys, the water containers will mm -hmm. have to go in there. We need a battery. Mm -hmm. And the water heater. Yes. We need to find a spot no, the for water that. heater needs to be here, right? It can go in here. Yeah. Pull it out, have a shower. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And also, I mean, uh, you know, uh, so we've got the one just flappy part is going to be here. <laughs> so this is also going to open in a dual uh, up and down. This is a live demo. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> see? So this will flap down. Nothing to see here. And then suddenly... <laughs> Yay! But look, look at this gorgeous workspace. This is so exciting because we've done this whole design right from the start, you know, where, where you sort of like think about it, think about it, think about it. And then my husband is a genius. He's able to turn our thoughts into reality. <laughs> so the kitchen's going to be, uh, 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 this is the kitchen. Uh, the um, fridge will go here, which obviously we, we need the fridge and you've got to have cold beers. Uh, we'll have the space up the top here, which I think would be really good for frying pans or anything that we can attach to the, the ceiling. We've got this really cute little oven. I'm so excited about this oven. It is so cute. And then we have gas plates and then we need to figure out how we're going to put all the pot, uh, so yeah, uh, the, the pans, pots somewhere, um, cups, saucers, plates, cutlery. This might work out as a nice little spice rack. Who knows? It's all exciting. But we're just waiting for our KDAC, the two gas burners. Then we can uh, connect everything up, see how it works, see how it's going to fit out, plan it even more. But look at all this workspace. It's like a whole kitchen. It is so amazing. Yeah, you can tell I love to cook. <laughs> I'm not one of those campers who likes freeze-dried freeze anything. We'll ha obviously have some of that as a backup, but... I like having fresh, nutritious, yummy food. So this is what we're going to be doing. So yay! Thumbs Thank up. your husband for being so amazing and so clever and able to do this. Cool that is. That is super exciting. So how are we gonna keep this baby waterproof? That's the biggest challenge here to try and make it look neat and clean lines but still waterproof. Normally it doesn't add up. <laughs> but this is the next idea. Got a lot of these corner profiles so the bottom half is on look at that magic a couple of chains hold it up yeah. and then that can hook on there well you can use the same ribbon that you got at the back for consistency yeah the top will close down and meet up in the middle yeah. so how do you waterproof that part yeah put this on here yeah. That's clever. So we're doing this closes down. It sits on there. That's very clever. Maybe a little more space. So the water will run here, run off. Water that doesn't go cool. up, as we know. Luckily we have gravity on our side, so we only yeah. have to think one way. <laughs> the other side is but these the, two the, sides. The, the, this is going to be a Land Rover trailer. <laughs> no point. It could be upside down. <laughs> right, the other thing? The other thing is the two sides. Yeah. We need to think of a way to keep that 
waterproof. Yeah. Oh, this is taking you shit so nicely. What? That's awesome. There we go. Yeah, got it. Very snug. You look like Neptune. <laughs> You're a trident. I'm a Maasai, man. Can you see? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's not jumping. jumping now. <laughs> so here we are again. Uh, management has been and has changed again what the destination is for this shell. The little oven will be up here. Yes. Makes more, more sense here. otherwise we would have lost all this space above it. So now to get some ventilation, put some holes in there. We need to finish that off. There's a hole over here. That's where the gas pipe will come in. Up here into the gas oven. And there's a holes over here as well. There's ventilation. Over here is where the fridge will live. So it needs some ventilation holes as well. Might put some ventilation holes in the exterior wall. I would rather not. I would rather not. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just cleaning everything up. I have to dismantle everything. I want to paint everything. All the, even the stuff that's underneath the hinges because water gets in everywhere, as yeah. you know. So now I'm going to double my side warrior. <laughs> and on all the edges, it looks very rough. That is still a bit rough. I'm going to finish it off, something like that, yeah. a little bit bigger even, so it covers the, yeah. makes it nice and strong as well, all around the top, along this edge here, there'll be a little one running along here, and that's in an effort to stop water getting in as well. Ingress. Water ingress, never <laughs> and along here. Oh wow. So the mattress lifts. Oh, that makes more sense. Makes and it fits more in sense. nice and snug, so we're not losing any space yeah. as well. Oh, that's really cool. This is a nice big area. We can put in a couple more crates. Do we still need a pillar here? We might need a pillar here. We'll see yeah. how it goes first. Yeah. That's um, lovely space. This is a place for vertical stuff. Mm. Tables, Umbrellas, chairs. tables, chairs, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And this as well. So we'll see what we need, what we take with us. We always run out of space. Anyway. Mm. That's yeah, looking really good. So far, this is the rough side. When you see it next, it might be painted white. So I need to look for some sandpaper. Yes, Make it look a little bit neat. And then start rolling, man. Yay. <laughs> wow. You've been busy. <laughs> like I said, it's white now. This is the first base coat. Something to cover the wood with because I know you might not agree with this and that's fine. I'm working to a budget here. It's not marine ply, it's normal plywood. So it needs to be painted really, really well. So what this is, is the cheapest white paint I could find on uh, in uh, where we live anyway. Everything here costs a fortune. A packet of 15 screws, five euros, that gum stuff. So even paint costs a very a lot of money, a very lot of money. So anyway, I've painted this as an undercoat, give it a first coat, painted all the edges, all the weathered wow. edges, everything. 
This is just the first coat. It's a very cheap paint. It doesn't cover very well. It doesn't paint very well. That's fine. I'm going to tack it now with some sandpaper, smooth it off. We need to fill in all these gaps, all the screws. Oh, cool. That all needs to happen. Clean it up nicely. I've given the top two coats, front and back two coats. Those will face the most weather. And then we need to decide, are we going to leave it white? Mm. Or are we going to give it another color? So stay tuned for that one. This is looking sharp. What you up to? Oh, well, guys, welcome to my studio once again. Um, I've given it a second coat of white paint, which is um, helping the étanchete, which is the French for waterproofing. Um, today, I've put in the section which is the most important part of the whole build, which is the. Oh no ways! Look at that. Beer fridge. That is so cool. That needs a coat of paint, but that's done. And now we have this section. Yay! Which is um, going to be quite cool. We can put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Put some shelving in. Awesome. What I managed to do is get some of these inner tubes for bicycles. Got them from the guy down the road. He just gave them to us. He says these are probably the ones we used to have on our own bicycles. And that's quite funny. You're upcycling. What I'm going to do here is put them, put the rubber underneath the piano hinge. Oh, that makes sense. And what that does is when it's in here, the rain should stop. It should stop. That's our first choice. We're going That's to do really that cool. One. So, a cheap and easy way to do it. I've seen mm -hmm. it done before. It actually does work. Uh, so, hopefully, I can do it the same way. And for the rest, Get in there, needs another coat of paint, another coat, and then we need another top coat as well. So, really make it waterproof. Okay, not yeah, that you're going to hear anything. <laughs> in the middle of our... So, get the border white, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it is a big white box. <laughs> so I thought fire engine red, man. What do you think? Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where are we going? Which side? Oh, I adore that colour. Oh, when we get round to it, it'll be nice to do pepper this colour as well, because that's what the paint was originally bought for. Beautiful colour. What do you think? Not bad, man. I thought red, but no, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> Good paint, man. You can tell the difference with paint. This is from Tollens. It's expensive, but worth it man so worth it mm -hmm. see how it rolls yeah. oh I love this color we put a sticker on the back that says don't follow this van because it's lost <laughs> oh, oh, oh we can say what a, a slow car fast home <laughs> well <laughs> Let us know down below, man. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, uh, what should we be putting on the back of our trailer to help people who are stuck behind us? Um, we know waiting to overtake. Uh, what should we say to help them put a smile on their face? Let us know down below. It's amazing, dude. Well done. Bought you some tea. That tea, nothing happens around here. See so yeah, our first coat? Needs to dry. Oh, looks so stunning. Hope it doesn't rain. Yes. Sand it down, another coat. Then it'll be like four or five coats, which should be enough. 
This is really good stuff. So. Love, 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 love the color. Mm -hmm. Thing management approved. <laughs> yep. So we're expecting a bit of rain tomorrow, hence the undercover awning. Well done, dude. You're amazing. So guys, here it is again, man. Back in my studio. Beautiful sunlight today, which is really great. Helps dry the paint, right? Because now I'm painting a huge wide panel, and why is that? And a quick shout out to my mate, Sanka. I know you're out there, I know you're watching. Hope you're having a good laugh. The first thing he said when I said, we're building this thing out of plywood, he said, is that marine ply? We also call this, yeah, that's right. Let's call this a cha cha moment, man. If you've been watching our bus build, you'll know that we had a couple of cha cha moments, especially with the ceiling. And I thought, not a big deal because if you cover it with enough layers of paint, it's not going to do anything, right? And in fact, this hasn't done anything, neither has the front or the back. The problem is these boys here. I don't know if you can see that bit of blistering somewhere here. And why is that? Well, of course it isn't marine ply and I had it stashed down there before I painted it and we've had a lot of rain lately. So I think it got humid before I painted it. It absorbed some of the water, uh, the rain, and then it painted over it. I thought it was still dry because this is fine covered by this but that wasn't so painted over it and now all of these flaps that I'm painstakingly put on are blistering a little bit it's not much but actually it's better to attack this right now before it actually happens while on the road which is more difficult so what have I done put the bullet man bought some marine ply at great cost to my pride and my wallet because it costs twice as much as normal plywood as you all know so what is this panel doing with it? Well, this panel is marine ply. It's only five mil thick. I'm gonna put it on top of this and I put it on the front and on the back, covering the plywood. And the reason for that is that it'll just give it an extra coat, an extra bit of surety in your head. And I'm painting it now, which will then go upside down on here. And then I can paint it blue again. So there it is. So while we're standing here watching paint dry, it's all fascinating and we could sit here and play this on a loop for the next three hours, if you like, in the mud because once again it has been raining, epically in Provence, it never rains around here except in November. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, it's a backyard. Just to illustrate, anyone can do this anywhere, you don't need a dry um, workshop and all of that stuff and a garage you just get out there start painting man well guys check it out some progress has been made since the last time finally there's a bit of sunlight which is helping to dry the paint because I've given it like the fifth coat of paint now and it's still quite tacky because last night it was like minus two the paint doesn't dry I've installed this now which is quite cool these are very cheap, generic, uh, from a DIY store, I think it's like B&Q or Home Depot, Castorama. These drawers, I made the little fronts on them, which is quite cool. At least they slide, all the hardware is there, very cheap stuff as well. These are up here now, these are maybe for fruit and veg kind of stuff. We can see what's going on in there, and we can use the sides as well. There's always a little cloth you need to hide away, or a little brush or whatever you know how it goes on your campsite so that's all done what I have done as well in the meantime is lined the whole thing with another coat of five mil plywood this is marine ply it's been glued on and screwed uh, and I need to sand all that off and then we can give it the final coat of paint which is quite cool
We're watching paint dry, literally. I thought, why not go through the tools? Everybody says, I bought this on eBay. I paid $75 for it. Yeah, right. It costs a little bit more than that. It's a lot more effort as well, especially when you're in your backyard and you have limited tools. So I thought, why don't we just go through what I'm using? And you may agree with it or you may think it's daft. But this is it. I bought a whole lot of um, plywood, as I told you, 18, 15, 10 mil, and 5 mil, and that needed to be cut up. So I bought all the panels here, cut it all myself using this. This was our old Festool, my old Festool. They've had it for about 15 years now. It has cut literally hundreds, thousands of kilometers of flooring. You know, um, laminate flooring, it's unbreakable, man. And this thing cuts a pretty straight line, which um, is probably maybe me <laughs> or it's the machine. So you think, yeah, you'd rather use a circular saw to get it straight. I don't have a circular saw. I'm using what I have. Beyond that, a little impact driver, drill, which is um, very important. Hundreds of different drill bits because you've got hundreds of different screws. And... Every screw is different length, different size, and it all changes when you're busy making different thicknesses of wood, right? This little boy has been gold. Hand power, man. Which has done quite a lot of work on this trailer, and it's very good for edging. It's actually very good. Get a nice straight line out of it as well. Hundreds of drill bits. A broken two. Not too bad. Stanley knife. This thing is also worth gold because it gets you in the edges where you can't get to normally. Like down here or something. You need to cut out little rubber strips. All of that. A couple of screwdrivers of different sizes. This is for the aluminium um, profiles. Wood glue. Wood glue. And a lot of um, insulation. Um, silicon and that... Sikaflex, that's pretty good stuff. So there you have it. We'll see when the result is in, when it's done, if it actually has been a good result out of everything. So I'm glad I'm this far now. The last coat went on this morning. It's got to dry for at least a day or two. Put the edges on, aluminium strips. This is for a little more strength on the edges of everything, which is quite cool. It's all been kitted, it's all waterproof now. Silicon. Once this is dry, you need to put the rubber in here, obviously. Fix that strip onto there when this is dry. And then work on the inside. And basically the outside's done, because now it's got like three or four coats of paint or more. So now I'm happy. Now it's finally waterproof. Yeah. Now we can carry on with the next part, man. Finally. Which is? Next part is the inside, trying to see where everything goes, get the gas bottles. <laughs> this is the part I'm really super excited about. <laughs> get the gas bottles all secure, everything needs its place, we've got to get the battery in there, solar panels on here, we need to get the gas lines all sorted. Right guys, day number 157 of the build. We're getting there, it's slow going but yeah. So far, just a quick update. I don't know if you've seen these. These are like boat uh, latches for cupboards. So this is a very, 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 very exciting day uh, because we like moving stuff into the bed. It's all dry. Everything's great. So we're busy testing to see. You can see the little oven is in. The plates are there. Um, the dude is busy. Uh, this is so exciting. So we have our two gas bottles in. The little water heaters in. Look at that funky oven. And our two plate stove is coming in. The fridge is going to be there. Oh, this is so exciting. So, 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 so exciting. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm trying to fit everything from our camping stuff into here. And it's getting jiggly. I managed to get this uh, quite okay. I've had to uh, mix up the plates a bit. Put the big ones on top because it's a bit wider. It seems to be okay. <laughs> it is really exciting. I have to admit, quite fun.
So, how do we get this in here? Such fun rearranging cutlery. Yes. What did you do today? Uh-huh. The joys. Oh, the joys. But hey, stuff's getting its place, which is a start, man. Yes. Now we need a test camp. Yes. Where should we go? <laughs> so, 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 so excited. <laughs> to have all of this, you know, that was in our heads. Uh, you know, we, we had the empty trailer and then we put all of our stuff in and tried to visualize how we were going to use it. And voila! This man that I married is genius. <laughs> So there's been a slight change. <laughs> this was going to be for our mattress, but we've decided to leave the mattress in the bus. Then we've got two of these uh, uh, chests. These will be for food. I think I might actually just line them, you know, the, the freezer bags that you get. So I think I might line them with that. These are two carpets, <laughs> uh, or camping carpets, or whatever they're called. Um, so we can have one next to the trailer and one next to the Land Rover, depending on how we set it up. Instead of getting one big one, we thought we'd get two, um, two separate ones so we can, you know, figure it out as we go. Um, these are obviously, you know, like ropes and God knows what. I've got our table here, little table, uh, another chest over here. Oh, we got our extendable hose pipe for the shower, so we can bring that around and shower possibly here. Everything's got a space, it's neat and tidy. This is our awning for the Land Rover and it's stopping this okay. Stopping that from rolling around too much. Okay. What do you think? Turning the appliance off. Turn the control knob to the off position. Okay, got it. <laughs> I think it's off. Fairly obvious, isn't it? <laughs> but dude, it's working. I can't believe it. Well, it's nice. so exciting. KDAC, we established that works. This works. This one is going to take a bit more plumbing. We've got a lot of stuff to plumb in there. I'm so excited. We camping. We are camping. And I've got an oven reel. I'm so excited. <laughs> Fritz. There we go. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> now we cross our fingers and it works. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> this is so exciting. Dinner is on this way. Morning, lovely people. <laughs> we spent our first night um, with our trailer setup, which is super, super exciting. I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of dust <laughs> in the air, so I'm suffering a little bit from hay fever, but that's beside the point. So we made breakfast. Bon appétit at uh, Camping Chez Nous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited about them. Uh, these are actually quite cool. They're little, um, I have no, no idea what to call them. Probably like little egg muffins. I just chopped up the tomato, a little shallot, um, put in some pieces of bacon. Uh, we had three leftover roast potatoes, teeny little roast potatoes, which I chopped up fine as well. Added some herbs and spices, obviously salt and pepper. Um, and some melted cheese and pop them in one of the muffin pans and put it in our new oven. <laughs> I mean, this is glamping, absolutely glamping. So, bon appétit. There might be some questions you might be wondering as in solar panels, the gas and all of that stuff. So let's have a quick look here. As you know, we decided on doing our trailer size wise to have the gas bottle in here and these are the gas lines this one goes to the other side to the water boiler this one here is for our kdak 
which is a little clip thing which is quite cool and the other line goes behind here to feed our gas oven which is a huge luxury in our camping experience up here I have connected our old inverter which is a thousand watt inverter I don't think it's pure sign but it kind of worked we had it in our landy for years um, the problem is our second battery doesn't charge very well off the alternator so it kept on beeping low battery here so far no worries because it's connected to the solar controller I hope you can still hear me with this aeroplane up here which is quite novel I thought we'd just leave it in the video because we haven't heard an aeroplane for a year now haven't you <laughs> so yeah here's another space here which is actually for another gas bottle 13 kilogram one but we thought we don't really use that much gas because basically the cooking side of it if you use gas at home you'll know one of these bottles lasts you about six months which is nuts so we're going to try this we have space for it but in this case we're using it for the water and extra sundries and stuff so we have a little strip to charge our phones with and all of that stuff which is very handy here this is the gas oven which is really cool it actually works quite well it's a bit slow but in the end you get a really nice meal out of it and we've made some quiche and stuff which is like novel you never do that on a campsite right uh, under here is our kdak 2 cook 2 pro which is really cool it works quite well in the wind because we've got a windy day a windy weekend actually yesterday there was a lot of wind actually broke our old tent but that's not the one we're going to take with us but here I've used these are for a um, let's what, what do you call it clothing cupboard in your house actually like for sock drawers so that these are quite nice because you can stack higher stuff in it these are standard little drawers which I made a front for you can see all the dust here um, it just works you don't have to figure out your it kind of saves you a whole lot of trouble and effort and it closes softly which is also like a luxury thing uh, up here we have our magnetic strip lights which are USB and these work quite well and the idea was originally they come with a little piece of metal this big which you clip but we kind of wanted to move it or change the aspect of it which is quite nice and the one on here so at night prepping stuff everything's here these will get a little hanger above here which will be nice and out of the way uh, we already have our cups out of the way so that'll get a space that's a new addition so this kind of works this is our kitchen area that was the idea this as you see saw has bicycle inner tube um, rubber which should be waterproof we will see about that but these ones as well um, I had originally 60 is it 60 Newtons and it wasn't strong enough to hold up the whole thing because this is the 18 mil ply so these are now 200 Newtons and they're so strong they're actually bending the bracket that came with them so <laughs> go figure we'll see how long they last but I have some backups anyway so that's this side this is the um, kitchen back here as you saw these are our original boxes these are 80 liter boxes here's all our spare stuff if we ever have people camping with us bring your own tent we can supply you with cup sources all of that stuff and we have spare gas as well if the gas runs out and you're out in the sticks we have the old reliable camping gas which is still hanging in there somehow and you saw the other video somewhere else oh a heater this is a gas heater we just need to plumb it into the gas bottle and we should be able to heat the planet as needed so yeah that all goes in here and this idea is quite genius which we found in our trip in Africa when we went through Botswana with the 
Hilux that was kitted out and it had I think three little boxes you know the wolf boxes in a row also reaching under there and this is how they did it okay. so why reinvent the wheel and it is all exactly measured but in that way it goes all the way to back and you can access it and another one goes in there exactly this um, trailer is one of the cheapest you can get I'll put the link down below what that means is the hinges are basically just two bolts so you can remove the whole thing if you want um, I'm aware of it I'll put this in here to stop it from coming down all the way it's strong enough to put the boxes on not to sit on, I think, but we'll see how it goes. That's also why we're testing it. And also on our trip, we can evolve and move on from there. So here, as you saw, uh, originally this was for the mattress, but we were keeping the mattress in the car. This is for our chairs. Table slot in the top on this rail. And then we clip it with this underneath. And that works quite well. It keeps them up out of the way and then we have space for two uh, office chairs, little swivel ones, and two lounge chairs, which is a lot of space. Plus our awning goes in here. Um, water bottles here for now. This box is our supplies. There's space for a second one. All of this here are our tent poles, our awning poles. There's an umbrella there. And obviously we have plenty of space as well. We've got this whole section here you can still use as well this stuff has a place this is the controller for the for the solar panels uh, originally I bought a set with 200 watts and uh, all the wiring and everything and there's a link here for the install which is quite easy actually and then in fact as I was thinking this was done these two I bought another one third one so instead of a 10 amp controller that they give you in the kit this is now a 20 amp one which I bought separately at least we know nothing's gonna fry it's all kind of um, working as well I mean the battery was fine batteries down here that's a Bosch it's just a lead acid one it's not any lithium um, iron thing because those things are crazy expensive so that works well the wiring's done this thing needs a little um, connection which is here and it's more than long enough so it all lives here it's all quite organized at the moment and as we go we'll even make it better in the front here this was just the um, yeah the trailer connection <laughs> so this box I, I made it out of five mil plywood it's um, marine ply um, I thought it's just high enough to, co to open the back door of the car, it just clears it, which is cool. And it's high enough to keep our um, washing up stuff, all our cleaning stuff. We've got some extra cables to run power if you're on a campsite. It's very lightweight, but it's also to try and keep the weight on here, not to exceed, because this is a small trailer that's the other um, reason we bought this one it's under 500 kilos it doesn't need um, insurance or registration on the road so you can just go as you want and i think we're about at 400 kilos here maximum when everything's in there which is not bad at all the car really doesn't feel it and um, the reason as well You might be wondering why it isn't a teardrop shape. Well, if you look at what's towing it, it doesn't need to be, right? <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Um, it was a cool, cool build. This is our new direction that we're taking for our trip through Europe for the next year or two or three, as Vic said. And it works so far. Everything's here. You've got power, you've got gas, you've got an oven, you've got a fridge, you've got storage, and 
yeah it's quite cool so um, hopefully you've got some ideas out of this or maybe you think I wouldn't have done it that way let me do it a different way but either way this is what we've come up with this is works for us yeah we're gonna keep camping here at the seaside which is fantastic I mean check this out our favorite spot as you've seen before it's just nice to be out again because we've been uh, we've been confined. stuck confined and stuck so there it is uh, let us know down below what you think hope you've enjoyed this one hope it's been a bit informative as well and of course catch you next time and keep rolling <laughs>